Is it recording? <laughs> we need to rec- How did you not record that, bro? It's like... It just... <laughs> But it's you move the hell it goes. What did I go up your nose and you what happened? Yeah. It's like snorted that one. <laughs> I told you. Yo, is there any way actually no I'm good? You yeah to go shot to football? Oh man, I'm telling you, I'm like crying. <laughs> yeah, no joke. <laughs> Shall I like reverse my shirt? Mm-hmm. Yo, Ben. Uh, Talking to your mic. Yeah. Yo, Dude, this you is take control <laughs> from there, remember? Yeah. This is gonna be wild. <laughs> <laughs> I'm recording, dude. <laughs> it's okay, you just cut it out. You know, I was like, bush. <laughs> <laughs> That's where the blow was. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> I'm kidding. You know this guy's like <laughs> coughing in there. Sweet side now. <laughs> no, dude. Bro, just putting some of your chlam on the top and. <laughs> <laughs> it might smell better. Dude, that's gonna destroy the microphone, though. Dude, I look like I was crying. Yo, Bro, me too. <laughs> then lift it up if you don't like it. No, it's fine. Bro, I'm being moving. Can I put time. my hand here? It's like shell over his computer. <laughs> Can you give me a kombucha? Actually, no, give me that lemonade. It's not a lemonade, dupe surely. Have you even drink these things? Huh? Have you even drink these things? Bro, these things are so It's like good. a mineralka. Yo, did you try that one? Or is this the first time? I think it's the first time. I think it was different when you tried it. Yeah, the one I gave you was red. This one is purple. Bro, this drink... Oh, it's good. This drink we started drinking like six months ago. Mm-hmm. And dude, straight up, we every time we go into Yolks, we just like grab all the punch. Okay, <laughs> dude, that's what we had with Arizona tea. Like... <laughs> Dude, Timmer. I promise you, two years ago, I actually even a year ago, we with Timmer, with Timmer, when we worked with Timmer, we literally went into Walmart, grabbed like seven, eight boxes, and there are twelve cans in there, and we just stack up the car, bring it to his shop, bring load up the me. fridge, and then just everybody, like literally randomly, like anybody shows up, like grab himself an Arizona tea, and then also orange cream ice cream. <laughs> Dude, oh, literally, we ate so I much of it. Of that in the fridge. Dude, we went to ca- when we went to camp. We got like two fridges, and like we stacked that thing Wait, up this with kvass. camp? No, it was like it was two years ago before yeah. I was married. <clears throat> we went to the November camp. There was like a bunch of people, and we got a fridge. And dude, when we were buying it, we didn't Wait, have you brought a fridge with you. Mm-hmm. Yes, we bought a mini fridge to camp. Dude, here's the thing: when we went to buy it, all we had we went uh, we spent. I believe ten dollars on lottery, like we bought lottery tickets. You know, like the scratch tickets, and we spent like ten <laughs> bucks, and we got I think fifteen or twenty back. Like we want some money. When we went, like we picked up all the stuff we need for camp. We got the fridge. We go to the cash register, and like we're paying. There's me, Arthur Haleski, Timur Haleski. We all pulled out all the money and change that we had, and it was exactly to what we owed. Literally, like just exact. Like everybody just pitched in, and that's what. Dude, don't that's you how much it cost. Dough Here's the thing. <laughs> we took it to camp. I like put stickers on it and everything. Loaded up with kvass, with ice cream, with everything. After camp, <laughs> this is what you do. <laughs> the scam. I took off all the stickers and put returned it, it to Walmart. <laughs> you got it. <laughs> Dude, here's the thing. Wait, they took it? They didn't even check it. I'm just whatever. You put it back in the box. I put it back in Dude, the box and returned the it. Because, you know, like when you go to camp, you like... You try to seem cool, but then it's like, man, like, Jmiot <laughs> Karman. <laughs> so we returned it. You gotta be kidding me. Dude, I, I just, it's hard to believe if, when you guys are making all this dough from Framey. I don't get it. Or you guys weren't Framey back there. Uh, I mean, it's, it's, this was right after I quit for my old boss. And uh. Timur quit. We were literally just like spending a bunch of money. <laughs> Dude, I paid for like a few people for <laughs> camp. <laughs> Dude, there was a couple of girls. I literally you paid for be- them for camp. Just because, serious? like, random girls. It's probably not your, does your wife know? <laughs> I mean, now she does. <laughs> I, I'm sure she does. <laughs> yeah, she, she. It's like, who were they? Just give some names. <laughs> Put some names out there. Dude, I don't even remember. It was just, like, randomly. I was like, Andre was in charge of the money for camp. I was like, Andre, just like. Who's Andre? Should it should be. And I was like, just pay for a couple of people. And there was other dudes in youth that are like, hey, here's money. Just secretly pay for this person. 
And why? I, like, I went to Andre. I was like, hey, this is for this person. <clears throat> why? Why do they do that? Nobody can I pay. I don't know. It's just like it, there was a time where like our youth guys actually paid for girls. What? Yeah, like Andrushka Yara stuff. I'm like, you gotta I be believe kidding. it was like Dan Sakalir or something. That. Like we literally like, we went to like Minnesota trip. Why? They don't have money? No, it's just a kind gesture, you know, like. <laughs> We went. We Did went you see to that a, video. We went to a fast food place, bro. That's crazy. Yeah, IHOP or something. IHOP. Yeah, it was IHOP, and we we're like, "Hey, let's pay for that table," and like we all pitched in and paid for that table. Well, that's good. Yeah, no <laughs> stuff like that is nice. <clears throat> yeah. How about the kind gesture I did? Pulled up on the tractor. <laughs> were you there? Whoa. You pulled up on a tractor. Oh, is yeah. that for like Mala George now? Yeah. Yeah. Uh-huh, I wasn't there. You wait. What do you mean? You were gone already? I was already married. He was, already, he was gone. Whoa. I wasn't like no, no, gone, gone, here? but I wasn't. Ah. I wasn't at the Mall of George now. But I saw a video of that. Dude, what's up? <laughs> Yo, hold on. <laughs> what happened to? Uh, oh, that was you with the uh, the youth slideshow. What happened at the youth slideshow? Somebody straight up like told your dad or called your dad from right from like not even the church or whatever. Something about the youth slideshow. I'm sure that something was off, and they had. Oh, yeah. Was that Remember? this year? That's so ridiculous, Blin. Oh, what happened there? I know the slideshow was really good. Like Victor, like, I co- know. commented on like I a bunch of pictures. <laughs> yeah, just walk over here. Dude, I'm not like gorly pirshit. Off camera though, I literally almost choked. Like I was, I was choking bad. I almost barfed. Like I'm sorry, <laughs> bro. You, <laughs> you gotta be kidding. Dude, it's not funny. I got my shirt wet. <laughs> It's like a new shirt. That was great. I hope we got that on. Wait, we didn't even get that on camera, though. That was good. <laughs> no, I was literally dying. Oh, um, man. This guy's taking a video. Your finger was in it the whole time. <laughs> Dude, that's what happens. Like, you ask someone to take a picture. I know, but he comes like, back with like. Or like older fish. people, and they're like, like, scrouching, you know, and like putting Dude, their finger in the up. lens. Dude, it's, it's crazy how far that hump can catch. Like, your finger is way out there. Oh, sorry. <sighs> All right, guys, let's get it together. <laughs> so, so what's the big topic today? Uh, today we're gonna talk about D. <laughs> Dude, you cannot keep this straight, <laughs> bro. I'm, I'm just gonna be crying the whole time. I can't. Oh, oh, oh. You know how girls cry? And they just go like this. Like, what kind of hum is that? Yeah, it's because when they make nails, like, like they oh, like, yeah, it's gonna it's scratch like, them, so they go like. <laughs> I don't know. Bro, try to try on this UFC fight. You got the you got wait. Yeah, so dude that <laughs> <laughs> You're such a dubina. <laughs> <laughs> so, oh, so we were prepping for this podcast for like an hour. <laughs> <laughs> and during this hour, we could have made another Bro. podcast from all the <laughs> jokes we were making. Bro, I was telling you to not talk. It's li- it literally took an hour to set up. I know. I was telling you, don't talk. Just wait until we start. <laughs> but it was so funny. Bro, I have like bad hearing or something. Didn't you have like an ear infection? Bro, I had three surgeries on my ears. From like the Did military, you? right? Yeah, from like shooting because it's like bling, my itty. Ear bones got like displaced or whatever. Did did it like hurt? Like pop or what, what was up? No, like I couldn't hear. I was like going even now, right now I'm like going deaf. It's like getting worse. Bleeding, like every day. one ear or both? Both. I mean, the oh, right shoot. ear is worth it, worse than the left ear. But straight up, I had like they they cut my eardrum and like went inside and like oh, and they were gonna take out my ear bones and put mm. like metal pieces instead. Like, get them but do they work the same or what? I guess. I'm like, how, how is that supposed to hold in there, Blin? It's like, if we pull up. <laughs> Dude, nowadays, любой может сделать. That's what I'm saying. It's crazy. But anyways, I'm like going deafer and deafer. So I'm getting that money. I'm kidding. <laughs> <laughs> hey, watch like uh, from like... Bro, I got... Where were you? In the I mean, pay Air Force, right? <laughs> <laughs> no. So this guy was in the Air on. Force. You mean Chair Force? Where were you in? <laughs> Me? Yeah, army dude. Just little army, straight up army. Oh, so this guy's in the army. <laughs> He's like waiting until one of his eardrums like <laughs> pops out so he can get Bro, like a. Bro, my right ear got damaged from uh, I was sitting like there was a muzzle of fifty cal like right here, mm-hmm. and I was like reloading the dude, and I took out one of my ear earplugs or whatever. It's like a ear pro, pulled one out. It, it was like on a stupid uh, mm-hmm. what's it called like a little uh, what is it? Like a, some dumb little line that holds yeah, it together. Yeah, yeah. So I pulled one out because I was talking to him, 
and I forgot to put it back in. And he fired, and that blast went right in my ear. Oh, Dude, for shit. like two weeks, I couldn't hear Jack. And then it slowly started coming back. Because it was like, like it felt like somebody slapped you in the face. Ouch. You know, because it's like right here. And then it went right in my eardrum. Dude, one time I was sitting. So bad. I was playing piano. And you're like, you're playing like, Do, Re, Mi, Fa, Sol, La, Si, Do. And like, I'm playing piano, and like, I hear the notes. My cousin comes up behind me, like with both hands. <laughs> slaps me. Slaps me in both of my ears. <sighs> And the note I was playing previously sounded higher, and I'm playing as if I'm uh, as if there's like a modulation. I was like, that is so weird. Bro, yeah. you can die like that. I heard that. I heard that you can like blow your eardrums yeah, like that. You can die because like that's so much pressure, like right yeah. into the. That's like you know when you pop those like, uh, like bottles, ear. when you like like the oh, air yeah. is like you so condensed and yeah, like, you just saw that? I was talking to Peter breaks. about that. It's kind of cool. They did at the um the guy takes like a, a like a rubber mallet or whatever mm. and just like taps oh, the yeah. top of it. Yeah. And it's just like slow motion. Like a body bah. hammer or something or something. Huh? Like a body hammer or like a No, like a took a rubber, you know, like oh, okay. took a rubber koala, whatever like, it's called. We use those things for flooring. Yeah, this dude just like goes like and it just like blows the bottom out. Just mm. regular air. I'm like, what? And he said that uh supposedly the air is moving like I don't know what he said, but it's like a tenth of a millisecond or some craziness. That's why. Oh, like, yeah, it's it blows. just like a bunch of pressure building up. It's so insane. Yeah. Think about that. Because it's like, that's not a, where you have to like cup it and bring it in, but you're just like slapping it, the air that's already in there. Yeah. Have you seen that one? Crazy. There's like, people like that a do, beer bottle. Or there's like people of, that do experiments. You get about a bottle that. with water. Oh, 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 where it's equal to the bottom. Like, yeah. Oh, yeah, basically. You get a look, bottle with water. Basically, there's like a glass. Like a uh, glass bottle, with, it's like filled and there's gas in there, and you just slap the top, like whack it oh. really good, and the bottom just shatters. No, th- this is what it is. I got it now. So it takes the air from the top one tenth of a millisecond or one fifth or something of a millisecond to travel all the way down. Like that's how fast the air goes from the top underneath the bottle. That's why it blows. Think about it. That's like a bullet. So crazy. Right? Well, dude, bullets Similar. are. Similar. Like, Dude, if you think about how it works... Bullets are another level. So yeah, like, but still... Like, you know how, like, when you shoot... Like, let's just say you're shooting a rifle. Mm-hmm. When you shoot a rifle and it kicks, mm-hmm. like, the moment it hits you, like, you know, it goes like, bah. Like, so you just pull the trigger, it goes like... Doof. That bullet is already, like, you know, who knows how many hundred feet in front of you when it hits you. Like, think about mm-hmm. how fast that is. That it's fast. like... Dude, it I was actually So shooting. you're actually getting, like, way late. You're like, it's just too cool, but the bull is like long gone. I was actually shooting today. Yeah. For a three oh three oh eight. Yeah, three oh eight. Yeah, and um, and then I there was a Glock. Uh, I believe it was a nine mil Glock. So what is it Glock seventeen or something? Or nineteen. There's there's yeah. but there's like twenty two. Them to get gems, but yeah. So I'm not I a Glock I didn't have ear protection the first time. Who's this? Igor? I was at my uncle's place. Oh, I didn't have so ear there's... protection. Actually, no, it might have been a forty five. Hey, can you give me a? I was I I didn't have ear protection. The first shot I hit, <laughs> dude, my ear was ringing so bad just from that. From nine, bro, nine mil. No, not I that believe bad. that was a forty-five. Oh, forty-five. Yeah. And then we shot like twenty-two Glock. Uh, like you shot twenty-two. Oh, yeah. That thing. The first time I shot it, I had ear protection, and when I shot it, I didn't even I didn't even know I shot it. Like I was like, oh, I shot it. What twenty-two? Yeah, like yeah, it, it blew so like quiet. zero it's kickback, like, and then we recorded a video. And I'm just standing there's like. <clears throat> No kickback, just like ding, ding, ding. Like, yeah, it's legit. Pretty cool. Dude, that's why uh, people always ask, like, or before people always ask, like, man, what gun should I get? I'm like, dude, buy a 22. Because ammo is super cheap. Bro, it's super <laughs> cheap. It's so fun. And it's like stupid lethal. Like, people think 22 is like, oh, we can hlump, bro. That hlump, prashiot, like, back in the day, I was like 15, something like that. And I had a 22, like, rifle. Mm-hmm. And I'd put at like 50 yards. Two two by fours mm-hmm. stacked like this, right by each other, bro. Per shavala, like nothing. Think about that. So, like, <laughs> what damage is it gonna do? Like, is it just gonna go through your leg, or bro? It well, it depends how it hits you, but you can easily kill a person with it. How many rounds is it gonna take to stop a Here, bear? Here's the thing: in order to hit a bear, even with a regular gun, you have to be like super accurate. If, like, you're not gonna hit him bushku. His brain is like this big. If you miss, they're like živuchie blin. You know. Yeah. So, like, it will rip off half his face and he's going to keep running. You know, like, they don't care. That's what you get. They're slugs. crazy. And what, like, what people, what do you get? Slugs <laughs> on a 12 gauge. This is, this is the thing about animals. Like, animals 
don't understand that they're dying. Mm -hmm. Like humans, like if you got shot and you're bleeding, you're like, ah, you know, what am I going to do? And you're like, I was freaking out, panicking. Everything's fine. Yeah. Animals don't know. That's why they run. They're just like, oh, something hit me. They have no idea that they're dying. It Mm -hmm. hurts, but they don't know they're going to die right now because it hit them in the heart or lungs or whatever. So that's, it's crazy. It's so like, even especially bears, like there's stories of like some dude got attacked by a bear and like straight up stabbed it and it ran and he sliced it. Like all the way from, you know, like from mm-hmm. wherever, all the way, all his guts fell out. Oh, shoot. And the bear is just like, navalwate straight up. With like all his clum hanging out. Because they don't know that he's, he doesn't oh, know yeah. that he's dying. He doesn't know what death is. You know what I mean? He knows they, like, they probably kill. They probably have adrenaline though, like an adrenaline rush, no? Obviously it hurts. Yeah. You know what I mean? But like a lot of, that's why a lot of times you got to be careful. Because like, you'll shoot a bear and like, it doesn't, he's like, I'm sure it doesn't like, you know, instantly hurt. It's probably like a shock. Well, yeah, like a, I was just going to say, like, don't animals have like a shock too? Yeah, they have a shock. So he's like, but bizarre. And that's why usually he will run the way that it, you know, shot him. Mm-hmm. He's like, something hurt me and just takes off that way. I actually heard that, like, if you get shot by a bullet, have you ever been shot by a bullet? Mm, no. No? I don't think so. I actually heard that if you get shot, it's not like instantly it's like, pain. It's just like a big fat thump. Like, yeah. Psh. And then, like, and then you after once like it, a minute or look. something and just what well, same thing like hurting. nail guns we we're t- gonna talk about it like oh, yeah. getting shot by a nail like you you know it's all like <laughs> go slowly through it's like bah and you don't yeah, even know what instantly. happened and you're like you know or whatever yeah, one, one time I got when uh, I was doing top backings on like a house and I just started I was probably like a month in and Wait, framing yeah framing oh. I'm a framer. <laughs> <laughs> no, and what's 40 it minutes in the pocket. I was holding a board and like you know the framing gun, Hitachi framing guns, and like something slipped, it shoots and ends up here. And all I feel is like wait, something wait, wait, weird. Where? So it, it oh, came like inside that? here <sighs> and kind of sticking out here. So it was just kind of like this. I don't know how, like kind of like that. Like yeah. that was the nail. And like the head was just poking out. I was like, oh shoot. So I I'm trying to go to my car to take a phone, to take my phone and take a picture. <laughs> just yank it out. Here's the thing. The longer it sits, the more it hurts. I know. I went to my boss. I was like, he was like telling me, he's like, hey, so you got to do that, that. I was like, oh, yeah, look at this. He's like, oh, shoot. Like, he's like, oh, man, like, give that to me. So, like, he yanked it out, like, instantly. Like, he just came up, pulled out. Imagine went through a bone. Bam, just out. And then, like, after that, it started, like, kind of hurting. But honestly, it was, I can't say that it was painful. Like, almost zero pain. Like, just like a, a little whiny pain. And then, like, it healed right after that. Like, put a bandage on and went working. Super glue. And then, like, two months ago, one of my workers. This isn't for L and I. So, when we were Timber. working in Mexico. <laughs> you know how they do You know how they do the Mac- Mexico scam for cars? Like, drifting in Mexico. Oh, yeah. So, we, when we were working in Mexico, this guy shot himself. And wait, it wait, went wait. inside. You're like, talking about it, No. What is this for? You know how, like, when uh, people drift for video, like, on YouTube, they're like, hey, well, yeah, we're drifting in Mexico, or we're racing in Mexico. In reality, it's, like, uh, anywhere in America, but they say Mexico, and then who's so going to prove anything, you know? That's so dope. So, like, when Fake. we were uh, framing in Mexico. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, didn't you guys frame in Mexico? No, I didn't. <laughs> Dude, you you're weren't so there? Blonde. No, I'm just no. saying, were you there? No. That's what I was talking about. I never went on missionary to Mexico. That's what I'm saying. When Philip was there, you weren't there? No. You were already married. Yeah, uh, I didn't go. That's what I thought you were talking. Here's about. the thing: this guy is like probably a week, a week and a half into framing, and I mean, I, I trusted him with the framing gun. Like, go ahead, go shoot the joist down. He was nailing the joist. This guy shoots him. The nail goes inside here, and it's just kind of like poking out here, but not through the skin. So it's just like a Oof. nice bump, and you can see that skin. that's a nail. I came. He's like, he came up to me, like showing what happened. I'm like, oh shoot, you know, like Did I don't t- usually have this. And he's trying to slowly pull it out. I'm like, bro, give this to me. I literally just yank it out. Blood is just like, mew, mew, mew. Oh. I was like, oh, shoot. He covered it up. This guy is so sensitive to blood. He, he literally almost fainted. <laughs> like, he's like, oh, shoot. Bro, My head is dizzy. Won't. He had to sit down. No. I'm really cool with, like, looking at bloody stuff. Dude, I don't care. Yeah, I like, like it, I'm, too. I'm really comfortable. Like, I cut myself or something. I'm like, where's my phone? I need to take a picture. <laughs> For this guy, I pulled out my phone and started picturing. Like, come on, like this isn't something you see all, all the time, you know? Bro, I shot myself Doja. Same thing right here. I was like putting a wall together, mm-hmm. and I was like, I shot one, two, and the third shot at them. Either somebody called me or something happened. I was like, believe I already know where I was shooting. Should have oh, missed. Man. 
right here. Just it was just stuck right in here. Did it hit your bone? No, it just went right like this, and I just could see the schlapachka. Oh man! I just yanked it out real quick, bro. But I'm like, couldn't bend my. <laughs> I think it hit some nerve or something. I was like, like this for like a week oh, man. or whatever. How I um, sprayed my hand with the. Uh, oh. Washer. So we're we're working at apartments. Pressure washer? Bro, <laughs> listen to this story. We're working at apartments. We're we were like the maintenance guys at apartments and like every so Wait, you work too? Every couple months we had yeah. to like pressure wash like the entries, like pressure wash the buildings, like the sidewalks. <laughs> and like th- dude, this is how we work. There was like three guys and one pressure washer. And when we're <laughs> here's the thing. Everyone's like Union. kind of switching churns doing an entry, and the other two are just standing. Like, remember? And we're, we're just standing and then like you watch the whole entry like we move everything over the other two are standing and then like one guy's watching everything and like i remember this guy <laughs> this guy it takes you know like it's long so it's like uncomfortable so he's like right what here he doing and this guy's like he had, his hands were dirty oh! <laughs> so he's trying to wash his hands <laughs> he turns it on and it's like not just like but it's shoot. like you know like uh-huh. there's pressure <laughs> and he cuts like he cuts his hand like really bad. Like he was just bleeding, just like all, all around dang. his hand. I remember looking at it, I was like, dang. Bro, it was my dad, Tosha, one time. He like, Papala, I think it was on his foot. Papala, um, what's it called? The like piano or some clump at the car wash. Mm-hmm. So he went to wash it off. Oh, man. <sighs> I mean, Bro, he comes it's home. razor sharp. Yo, he comes home, it's like. I don't know if it was like this big, but there was like just like a line of just oh. like Siriazola skin. Oh. Ugh. So bad. Anyways, yeah. you you were saying that this is blood- kind of a bloody podcast, bro. Like- <laughs> bro, this this is even a better one. You were at the you were saying about the uh, when your blood started squirting. Oh yeah, bro. I was doing a a roof with my dad, putting mm-hmm. metal on a roof. For, actually, for Pete, you know Pete, right? Yeah. Anyways, and uh, my dad told you he's like, but he sees blood. He's like, shut it. <laughs> you know, like really mm-hmm. bad. Like he just faints or whatever. <laughs> Anyways. We're cutting like the edge, mm-hmm. or it was like at the very end, and like the piece o- went over the edge, like maybe a foot or whatever. So I was out there with the, the air scissors, you know, like <laughs> cut it all off, and then and it's like it, super sharp, and it's like this. You have to right or whatever, both eyes. It was like a f- piece of fascia or something. Or I don't know what it was. Anyways, and I'm like at the peak, and I'm like handing it down to my dad, and I'm like holding it. I'm like really true, and like as far as I can reach, oh, and he's man. like, <laughs> you know. And I'm like, bling, should I like go? I'm like, look, you're like trying to see if he has it, you know? Oh, man. I'm like, look, you look at I'm like, bling. He's like, to, to squatil, to squatil. Like, I didn't even see. He's like, I'm this guy, whatever. Bro, I dropped this slump. I guess it like missed his hand. Dude slices him right here. Ooh. Like, on his head. Just like, pfft. and bro, I promise you, this is like in a 300 movie. It was like, pfft, like oh. this, just sprayed like a fan. Yeah, I was it like, hit a nerve. Like, bro, I was like, one of those. Oh. I was like, no way! Like I'm about to die. Like my dad's sure gonna faint. He's oh, like, man. put me the like, like napkins. I was like, they're like, whatever. Oh, Dude, somehow he didn't pass out. I was like, no way. But anyways, that was like the first time I ever saw blood spray. Cause like you see that whole like movies or something. I'm like, yeah. yeah, right, bro. It sprayed like a fan. It was like, and it smells. Like, like it was like a this. Lot, like it smells. Dude, it's so bad. I was like, holy moly. Ouch. Anyways, <laughs> dude, there was this one guy. <laughs> so they were like working, like finishing up a house, and they were like, I believe they were like installing a garage door or something. <sighs> and so the garage door is open, and he's up there doing something, not like on the garage door, like off a off hey, a pause, ladder. Pause, pause, pause. Remind me, you say something about garage door. Okay, go, <laughs> go, go. So, off the ladder. So he's working up top, and then something happened. Either his ladder fell or something, and he hooks onto the garage door. And you know how, like, when it goes up, it churns. So, so like, when the two little hinges, like, they spread. Mm-hmm. And then, like, when they close, they, like, <sighs> combine. His fingers got stuck in there. And then they close the garage door. <laughs> and this is high. Like, I, I think it was, like, a 10 or a 12-foot garage. Bro, same story. You got it closes, no. and his fingers are jammed in there. You know what they did? He, he couldn't pull out his fingers, so they had to open back. Bro, this is like no joke. They opened back the door so that the hinges open separate and then pull his fingers out. But oh. dude, they were like squished. <laughs> bro, like, bro. Like, it's okay. kind of not funny, you know? Like, bro, like, so same like exact sad, thing. Sad story. Same exact thing. Listen. Well, yeah, they like took him to ER or something. But. Bro, same exact thing happened to my cousin, Max. 
I'm looking at you. <laughs> Bro, same exact club mule. Pete straight up picked him up mm-hmm. on a, on some kind of, on his skid steer, I guess, or whatever. And he had to like do some plum. And then he dropped him and this dude grabbed the garage door. Oh. And it wasn't locked in a payejo. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> same oh, thing. Shoot. Same thing. Oh, wait. Correction. I what? think the door wasn't on a motor. That's what I'm saying. Oh, yeah, it was it like a chain down. clum or whatever, and it just slides. And you can't bro. do anything about it. <laughs> bro, bro, Dude, listen. here's the thing. When it's closed, you just can't pull it out. Like, think logically. Oh. And it's like, open it, open it, open it. Bro, like, unless you have like a, was the door or some um, crap. Like, somebody's like. But still, bro, you're like, just bending yo, the door. Yo. It's like, goes in there with the door. <laughs> <laughs> would you <Snaps>. rather, would <laughs> you rather <laughs> like jam your fingers or like bend the door? Like, lucha <laughs> Yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> this guy's a dude <laughs> Dude anyways So this dude gets his fingers jammed Same thing Like his fingers oh, are like man. all blue right Oh shit <laughs> Bro This dude comes up to him and, Like vetched him He went to the ER And mm-hmm. he calls me He's like <laughs> It's like This guy can't even use his hands And this dude's like Asking him if he's gonna come to work the next day dude, I'm like You gotta be kidding Dude that's me. what I had with my boss We're sheeting the roof And we have a forklift And the, uh, we put like Sheets on the forklift mm-hmm. And we lift it on the roof I think it was like a 612 roof Or a 712 And I'm carrying sheets Like sheeting you know And my boss is on the roof too And like I was just helping him cut I'm running down the slope And jumping onto the forklift So like It's kind of like a platform oh, yeah. of sheets <laughs> I jump, my toe, like, hits the fork, just, like, <laughs> at it, and I broke my big toe. Oh. Like, it was Wait, bad. You wearing nothing? I Shruffy? was in, uh, s- uh, like, Shruffy? tennis shoes. Uh. The usual, like, roof. Like, come on, you're not going to wear boots on the roof. I know. We just wear so, shruffy, look, and this is summer, best. like, amazing weather. We're, like, in shorts. Dude, I broke I broke my toe, and it's just hurting, you know? Like, I can feel mm. it, like, bad. Throbbing, yeah. My boss, like, let's go work, let's go work. I was like, whatever. I worked the whole day <laughs> on the roof, like carrying sheets, and I'm just limping, you know, like my toe hurts like so bad. <laughs> and then towards the end of the day, I'm getting off. I like and I kind of jump off the wall or window. Mm-hmm. I jump off, like, right and I land. Toe. I'm like, oh shoot, like for sure that's broken. Like I didn't really check. I was like, <sighs> whatever. Next day, I go to the ER. Well, just Actually, urgent care. Mm-hmm. He checks it out. He's like, "Oh yeah, it's broken." Here's a picture. And my boss is like, "Hey, so when are you coming out to work?" They gave me a boot for a toe. He's like, "If it doesn't heal properly, you like, you, yeah, you, yeah, might, yeah. you might not be able to walk properly, you know." And I'm like, <clears throat> "Hey, I'm not working for a week, or you know, like I have the boot." And then I had a manual car, and I'm shifting and doing everything with the boot. <laughs> Dude, I mean, it worked. Dude, that's what I was out. It, same plum happened. Mm-hmm. Not same thing, but I had the same plum happen saying that uh in the army mm-hmm. they were carrying uh <clears throat> i was staying on a truck like uh, receiving a stupid safe that like eight dudes were carrying it was like this massive bling eight feet by like something like the yelly with your and they're like carrying carrying it's all like it looks good everything's fine and then like some dubiousness starts giving up and they're like ah! I start screaming and I'm like on the truck oh, like wait you know like bring it like closer and then whatever so bro it starts falling and the truck is like high like those military trucks are mm-hmm. like you know their bed is like way up here big tall so these wheels these pridurki just throw it not throw it but like they just dropped it instead of like setting it on there and bro I'm like standing right there straight up right on my toes oh. bro bro Ouch, I guarantee dude, you that one was like a thousand already. pounds <laughs> dude dude I was out for three months I got really? put. Yeah, I had to like, wear. Did a you boot. break it? Yeah, of course. You just you smashed it. it. Oh shoot, bro! It was so bad. I was like, and it hit like my other toes, but it like just bruised them really bad. Mm. But this one, like the front bone, was like, you oh, know, man. it was so bad. And you're like, what? Put it to your mouth. Closer. <clears throat> but you were talking to the side. I mean, I like naduti, mm. like f- like my f- like toe. I couldn't even sleep at night, bro. So shoot. bad. I'll just wake up and it's just like. V- just like this throbbing kind of like pain. pulsing yeah it just pulse mm-hmm. yeah and it just wouldn't go away it was so bad anyways and then it was it was kind of hlam but obviously like everything happens for a reason i was i was supposed to go to uh me and this one dude there was two of us i was going to aerosol i was gonna mm-hmm. about to go to aerosol school and like we had to do a series of like five pt tests you know to get in or whatever mm-hmm. and i started doing it i think i did like one or two 
and I had three more, and you have to get, like, every PT test has to be better than the last one or whatever. Like, you had to be super, you know, like, it was, like, me and this dude, there was two of us or whatever. And I think he ended up going, but then he, like, quit, like, a tormos, because, like, even when I knew him, I, like, could see quitting him, because, like, I ran with him on, you know, like, Zedath every morning and everything. And, like, I could see that, I'm like, bro, this the guy's never going to make it. And then Priyama, right when all this was happening, my toe broke, and I never went. And I would have left 100% would have went because, you know, like I was like super good at PT, like the bill, like crazy being like every day. Don't you still run like every day? I do. Not every day, but I kind of quit for like. What's the most you ran at one time? 12 miles. Oh, shoot. That's not, a lot. It's not even a lot. Dude, kidding? that is a lot. No. The most I ran is like maybe a mile and a half. <laughs> and by the end, I'm like, <sighs> like bad. Like my endurance is not well, that bro, good. See, that's what like for me, I'm more like. It was, it's crazy. I used to hate running. Same thing. Like, I hated it with a passion in school, Blin. I mean, I loved, like, quick runs, like playing Capture the Flag or some flam. But, like, long distances, Blin, we did, like, a, we had a flam where we did, like, a mile around the church or whatever at school. Oh, dang. Bro, I was, like, dying. Like, I was, like, <laughs> trying to act like, Blin, it's all good. And I was, like, umira, straight up. I used to do that. Or, uh, I used to run around on my house. <laughs> I made myself like this, uh, trying to like become all fit and stuff, bro. But so look, I ran around the house like a lot, dude. And this was like pretty constant. Running, you know? running is like, I don't know. I got to a point of like where I hated it, and then after like in the military, I just fell fell in love, like a hundred percent fell in love with running, bro. I'd like, I got crazy stories about this long where like people would like all my buddies would like, you know, like every night they would go out to the ville, like in Korea or whatever. They would go out to the villain party, and they would all get on this bus. So there, there's like bus stops mm-hmm. where, like, on base, they drive a bus around, pick up the people, and then take them to the to the gate, to the front gate where everybody goes out at night. Um, after like five or whatever, six. Bro, I'd go to the gym for two hours while they're them, you know, like partying mm-hmm. with juicy girls or whatever they called, and. I would go work out for two hours, and after two after that two hours, I'd go outside and run five miles every single day. Bro, I just Dang. loved it. Like I just got my mind into it, and just like I don't even feel like I'm running. I'm just like, you know? I mean, that's healthy. That's really Bro, healthy. Like so awesome. Like if you're like that active, I saw like these grandmas running around. Like grandmas, they're like eighty years old. Well, obviously they're not like <coughs> running, running. Well, see, they're they've just been, kind of like slow been, jog. Yeah, they've been probably doing it for a Those minute. Those people will live long, you know, dude. Like. Really healthy. And, like, they're not, like, fat. Like, most Slavs, like, grandmas, they just, <laughs> they literally just eat, Bro, like, oily food and they become fat. And no, then, I'm saying, like, And then they get, like, all these problems. Try to get them to, like, have you ever even, like, a babushka? They're like, <laughs> like, my mom. Sorry, mom. So he's like, <laughs> I'm like, mom, running is not the same thing. Like, go outside and go run with dad. You know, like, yeah. every day, like, first day, run the whole distance of the property. You know, like, just. 500 feet next day run a little bit longer and like get used to it because like what you don't understand is you can work hard but your heart has a lot of fat around it like as, true. at that age mm-hmm. like what what you're talking about slavic babulki or whatever believe yeah. their their hearts are trashed 100 yeah. percent. you can work in the garden all day long you will never ever get cardio which you know like is yeah that's gives basically you a healthy just like what are you working out at the garden? Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like, what are you... Like, like you're, you're scratching down, you're picking up your back, and you're <laughs> yeah. just, like, holding on to it, like... Whoop. Yeah. <laughs> like, then you need, like... That's what I'm saying. Therapy or something. Bro, I, like... Literally, that's how it dude, is. Dude, no joke. Like, I obviously haven't... I mean, I, last time I ran was at Myrtle Beach. It's like, bleeding. shame on me. No, wait. Did I run after Myrtle Beach? <laughs> Anyways. And how long ago was that? Bro, and I didn't run, like... Who knows, you know, before that, like, a probably... Two months before that, I didn't even run. And then, like, I got to Myrtle Beach, and I'm like, we're like, bleeding, like, you know, I'm probably, I can't even run a mile. Do we straight up ran four miles, like, nothing on the beach, like, you know, basikong. Be- beach running is tougher. Bro, it's so it's nice, tougher. though. Man, I love like, it. Like, you're not, you're, it's not Mazzoli, flat, you know, like. <laughs> you got like, muzzle. Kind of yeah. No, well, you try to run where it's kind of like where the vulna goes up, and it's wet. Dude, one and time when I was at Myrtle Beach, looks. actually, no, I was Panama City Beach, and there was, like, this pier. Screw that. <laughs> <laughs> what do you mean? And what happened? But the mule straight up. Is that a good story? This guy fell off the pier. <laughs> no, there's those people that do those pranks. What? Falling like, off falling pier? On, you know, like those blind, like they put like 
glasses for blind people. Like, bro, that's so stupid. And then just walk Yo. off the pier. And there's people actually jumping bro, after Bro, you know there's like a million sharks around the piers? Like, that's where they all are. Well, because, because people throw stuff, no? No, because people are fishing there and always throwing bait and crap. Oh, that's true. And all the fish are like, being like, <laughs> you falling? What are you falling with your eyes open? How do you know what's there? Like you just jump in, like in uh, what's it called? Yeah, Dear John, it, he jumps in, it's like all clear. I'm like, yeah, I'm sure. <laughs> it's probably like when they jump in, they just imagine like those movie scenes where it's like you jump in, it's like perfect water. Yeah. You know, like, wow, you're swimming in the ocean, bro. You, I mean, stop and think. Even when you go into like a lake and you dive off a boat, like, do you have any idea where you're jumping in? You don't know what's under you. Yeah, you can't see. What Jack, if there's like a you fat log right there and you jump like? That's right what I'm on saying, it. bro. We had like my uncle Pete. Bro, my uncle Pete had his stupid. Uh, he lived like on the on the very top of this hill at Long Lake, Long Lake, mm-hmm. or Spokane. Lake By the way, this is good. I know, right? <clears throat> anyway, this dude Whitfield. What are all these bunk? What, what, what happened to the kombucha? Do we still have kombucha? Huh? Do we still yeah, have there's two more kombucha. Dude, listen. This dude, this dude had a dock that on Zabilk with a metal trubu in there. Kombucha. But this is this is actually there's actually one that's mango, mm-hmm. or, ma- or peach, peach something, bro. That stuff. This is one's so all good. right, huh? It kind of looks yeah. like it's a recycled candle. No joke, like it's all kind of scratched up and like they just put a sticker on top, you know. Bro, how's they recycled can? How do you how do you recycle? Well, think about it. Like most drinks are like how do you? Gonna... It's it's painted, you know. I know, but okay, maybe not recycled, but like. <laughs> Like a, how are you gonna like redo they the cheaped top? Out, they cheaped out on the design, you know. They just they just put a sticker on. Bro, this is a locally owned Idaho company, right in Coeur d'Alene. They, they need to get like. No, Bro, it's just it should be colder. Sorry, I don't know. Oh, why it's fine. We should have put it in the fridge. It's fine. Huh? It's fine. I know, but it's literally know. like pretty cold. Duh? Yeah. Nice. Craft brewed anyway in Moscow, Idaho. Yeah. <laughs> Dude, you know there's like a lot of people right now that are like, I was talking to my relative in Ukraine. Who? To a relative relative. in Ukraine. And he's like an active person in church, like, служитель and stuff. And he's like, Yauchu, like he's learning Ukrainian right right now. Oh, he's in Russia? No, he lives in Ukraine, but like Dipropetrovsk, like a lot of people spoke Uh, Russian there. And he's like, right now I'm I'm learning Ukrainian. Why? Because he's like, I'm just... Uh, really surprised by how Ukrainians are acting right now. He's like, they're trying to like, uh, they're trying to destroy all the electrical stations right now, you know? And like the Ukrainians, he's like, you walk outside, everyone's like alive. Like people are like surviving. Like they're, they're out there like trying to get the wood and everything. Like, bro, they're not just going to die that quick. I know, but you know what? Like a week ago, I saw a video, Mm -hmm. bro, we're not supposed to be talking about current events club. (laughs) But I saw a video. Just don't include it. <laughs> bro, I saw a video of like some stupid soccer, not World Cup, but some dumb cup in Ukraine. Right like, now. Yeah. <laughs> bro, like the so, stadium the, is like bro, packed. There's people like, opening. War, billion. There's people there's no opening war, coffee billion. shops there right now. In That's Ukraine. That's what I'm saying. I and, like, get it. Trying it's to like, make money. People are like, bro. I mean, people- I mean, what do you do the whole time? Think about it. Life is still, like yes, it there's still war, goes, yeah. but not. It's not like like how many Stops million people are there. There's a lot of people in Ukraine, right. and they're just not everyone's just like sitting. You know, like let's wait through the war. Like you still have to do something. That's just getting boring. I mean, obviously, it's like dude. I don't know. I just like cautious. if if there's still hum like that going on where there's like stadiums packed. Like I guarantee you, the stadium had fifty, seventy thousand people. Easy. It's like yeah. Zabita, and it's like a soccer club going it's on. It's like in Ukraine. I'm like, like, how? Ukraine versus Russia? <laughs> <laughs> I'm kidding. <laughs> Good one. <laughs> it's like they start fighting. That's a Putin bad shows up. <laughs> <laughs> the presidents are like, <laughs> Zelensky's on the other end. Like, Bro, remember like back in the day? Like I always like, man. Even if you think about like. The wars like uh, like World War Two oh no World War Two, or is that was that Civil War where they were like fighting on Christmas or Thanksgiving or some clump? Yeah, Christmas uh, yeah. and they like, straight up like stopped and all yeah, gave they, each they, other gifts. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I heard bro, about that. Bro, that's so like capias. That's like that is the Civil that's like War. humanity, bro. Isn't that like the British versus Americans? Yeah, yeah, yeah. bro. That were English? No. Yeah, British. Were- Brit- like- no, Civil War was North and South over here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Or yeah, no, yeah, yeah. that was. Uh, Revolutionary. Yeah, revolutionary. There war. you go. Yeah, bro. I'm telling. Wait, that was a civil war. No. Civil war. I think is north and south. 
the South revolutionary is between the British and the No, I know, but who was the... the uh, who were they stopped on Christmas? I think that was... I, uh, either First or Second World War. Oh, Karachi, yeah. it, so it, it was a war. First World War, And it was yeah. on Christmas, and they... Yeah. They like pause, and I remember like hearing stories like they would send each other like chocolate or something. Yes, yeah, because so they didn't have anything else. Like and they wouldn't fight, gifts. and then like right after. And Christmas they would go through like the neutral zone, you know, like just crawling yeah. across, leaving it, going to the other end, like back to their side, and then the other side would come, pick up the gift, and go back. Bro, there's. Did you ever see that? We need to, man. We need to play this. There's a video about the uh, Star Spangled Banners. Mm -hmm. Have you seen it? I but think I need to probably send in some history I need to send class. it to you guys. There's a dude, it's just like a video that talks about how the Star Spangled Banner mm -hmm. song, like, you know, like the origin of it. It's racist, apparently. It's not racist, bro. This Islam, if it's, if that's not touching, there's on, there's no stupid feeling left in the world. Like that, it's like one of the best videos ever on YouTube. Mm -hmm. You got to watch it. So like Send it. Post it, put it in your description. Bro, I straight Let up will. No joke. It. People need to, people need to see the slum. And, and it like makes you think like. The everything that this like country was, you know, how it was like built and made, mm -hmm. like everything they're trying to throw this slum in the trash. Like this is what they need to watch. Like this is man, I'm telling you, I watch it with my family or not. I don't know if I watched it. I, I feel like family. if like the people that actually formed the country, if they saw how stuff was right now yes, in yes, the yes. country, people would literally like they would be no. disappointed. <clears throat> it's the next one down. Next one? Yeah, press it. Let me see. Is Just like put minutes? it in the description. Let me see. Let me see. I'm gonna tell you. Link in the description. Bro, it's about the dude that wrote the song. We last saw it. Sunrise came. He said there was a heavy mist hanging over the land, but the rampart was tall enough. There stood the flag, completely nondescript, in shreds. Yes. Bro, this lump, I'm gonna do like a little at the Yo, this make a this, history channel. This Islam is so Eugene's crazy, bro. So they were like, supposedly, um, uh, what was the British? Huh? When the Brit, yeah, when the British they came over and they were like shooting at the the they were like there was a fort, whatever mm -hmm. that fort was, and they were like Ushatvaliyo, and they said they like sent a messenger and they were like, hey, if you guys put your flag down, then um. You know, like, we'll, like, you know, like, quit shooting you guys and we'll kill the whole camp or whatever. Mm -hmm. And anyways, it was this whole thing, but the guy that wrote the song, some kind of lawyer or something. Anyways, they're shooting at the, they're shooting at this fort and they're like, Dolbet, and like, in the song, you, like, all the words, you know, like, mm -hmm. whatever. They kind of align with the Yeah, yeah, with like the story, video. with the story. And like, they're shooting at this fort and like... It's all in like dust. I mean, uh, all in dim or whatever. Mm -hmm. You know, like smoke and everything. And the smoke dies down, and the flag's still there. Yeah, and then it, yeah. they keep shooting again, and they would like shoot noch dalbili, and the flag still kept standing. And when they got when they got back on, like when they got onto the onto the uh, you know they never gave up or whatever. When they got on back onto the shore, and they like the guy went and they were like checking like what's up. Straight up, dudes that were there would get bombed and they would just pile up and then other guys ran up and picked up the flag. Dang. And then those guys would get bombed and it, the pile just kept getting bigger and bigger and these Americans just kept running and holding up the flag. Crazy. Yeah. Like, just listen to the story. It's like insane. And like, it was like, the whole they got there and there was just like massive pile of dudes and just like, just stay out there holding, the holding it. Yeah, and they were all like dead underneath. But like, there was, you know. <clears throat> Honestly, I got so bad with history. Like, Huh? Everything I learned in school, I forgot. Like maybe <laughs> some events, but like but I love history. I mean, like I, science was my favorite in school, but like history, dude, phew, you gotta know it. Cause like, bro, in college, we had a history class where you're everything's online, tests, homework, everything. I cheated the whole class, and this was in college. <laughs> no one find out. I still got. I got a good grade in it. <laughs> and like our main test was also like online, so I would just come home, Exclusive. do the test online. Huh? Exclusive. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so like I got financial aid. <laughs> no, here's the thing. I went to school uh and I got financial aid and then I went to frame. And I quit I, I just didn't show up to classes. I school failed like twice. all my classes, but I still kept the financial aid. <laughs> so don't tell fast. Watch they're gonna make you pay it back, man. <laughs> no, that's that's what I thought. And then like 
Apparently, I, you know, there's like a, a book rental program in college. I had a bunch of books. I forgot about them. They they were just in my closet. And nobody came after me. And then I Go sold up. a couple. <laughs> <laughs> this is like you sold them all. No, they didn't all sell. But I sold a couple <laughs> on eBay. They were expensive. Come on, like 120. Uh, they're not too expensive for books, but like 120, 130. Bro, and I sold a couple a of them. Book, Two hundred bucks for a journal. Here, here's the scam. Here's the like college ultimate, like ultimate. business scheme. You know. <laughs> They changed the book like every year. Like it's the same class but different book. Like and like whatever. Just for you to buy it. Yeah, like you have to buy a new book like every year. Well, some classes obviously you can like use the same book, but bro, that's why I never went to college. Yo, I actually did one class of college. Did you get a diploma? Huh? Did you get a diploma? Like I have a GD. (laughs) <laughs> Bro, so what? Like, I did everything I needed to in life. Honestly, like, honestly, genius. I don't even need my diploma. Like, Have you it's ever just even lame. showed it to anybody? No, exactly. I Why graduate. I graduated, and I went to Frame. Like, That's who needs it on Frame? Bro, Dahlam is so overrated. Like, it's more of it's like stupid <gasps> diploma. That's like, what I'm you saying. Go to, you, you go to what's it. it called? You go to any construction job, nobody's gonna care about like. Bro, that's like your any education. Job. Any job, I don't, unless I don't, you do something like. I don't know. Bro, I needed I needed to have my GED when I went to the military. That was it. I just had to show them, like, hey, man, I have a GED or whatever. Mm-hmm. That's it. And either, even then, I still had to take the stupid ASVAB test. Yeah, but test. if you didn't have your GED, you could still go, no? You, well, you have to take an ASVAB test. If you pass it, then... Yeah, but it was stupid. This is where it's so dumb. Okay? This is actually a good... This is a good story about this lump. I had a GED, mm-hmm. right? And because I had a GED, I, have to, I had to score a 50 on my ASVAB. Get like a 50 points or whatever. It's like a point system, right? You can Out of get, what? I think the lowest is a zero and the highest is like an 80 or sure. The, or I don't even know what it was. I have no idea. Maybe it's not. Maybe it's like 130 or I have no idea. Mm-hmm. But you have to, in order to join the military, you have to get a 30. Yeah, you have to get a 30 in order to join Vapship, period. And I had to get a 50. So every any normal person with a diploma, like you or mm-hmm. whoever, or this guy, you have a diploma, right? Any, that guy any actually normal, graduated this, college. This, this is, tell me how dumb this is. Yeah. Everybody that has a diploma has to get a 30. Okay? Me with the GED, I have to get a 50. How does that make sense, though? That's, listen, this is what I'm talking about. We had a dude. I forgot his name, and I don't even care. I hope you're listening to this because you're dumb. <laughs> this guy had two degrees, bro, from college, and he kept getting a stupid 19 <laughs> on his advent. Oh, man. 19, like... Points or whatever the crap. I mean, there's. Can you believe that? I had to get a fifty bleed. I got like a fifty flat or a fifty five. Show them your. And this guy has like the lowest. And I had a dumb GED. That's what I'm saying. It's like, how does that make any sense? People that you know are supposed to be smart have to score thirty percent. It's an ASVAB test. It tests everything. It's almost like like science, like math, basic math, yeah, everything, algebra, everything. So it's like, uh, what is that? How long everybody takes? Not a SAT. Yeah, 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 pretty yeah, much like a SAT. A- SAT yeah. yeah, yeah, like that. It's Dude, like that. I got so bad with all those terms. Like, I forgot all those terms now. Yo, listen. So the the more you get on your ASVAB, the better like high quality job you can get mm-hmm. in the military, which is like them tech, like with them, you know, like drone operators. They have to get like insane scores, whatever. What was yours considered though? Well, like, I had what? to get a fifty. <clears throat> well, the fifty. I mean, I could get. I don't. I don't even know what jobs you can get, but obviously, I. Couldn't get like stupid tech jobs because I wasn't smart enough for that lump. Because I never, even, you know, I didn't, I never, mm-hmm. like, I never, like, this guy, like, I couldn't, like, it just didn't, like, you know, I didn't like, not that I didn't like it, it just wouldn't, like, it didn't interest me, you know? It was mm-hmm. like, I couldn't just sit there and, like, stare at a board and, you know? <laughs> Originally, when I went in, I was like, I just want to do stupid infantry, you know? I didn't care. I just, mm-hmm. you know, want to go shoot or whatever. And then, like, the guy's like, well, you can get a better job and you can sit in it. And I'm like, eh, I don't know. But originally, I wanted to fly, Blim. That was my dream. Like, like a... This guy just like checked actual pilot? 40 minutes later. No. Like an actual Bro. pilot? Okay, so I had two... This, this is me getting in. I had two... Uh, wait, 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 stop, stop. <laughs> Did you actually tell your parents, though? What? <laughs> How you got in? <laughs> Bro, no. <laughs> Bro, that was a crazy... Do story. your parents watch this podcast? I'm sure they do. I'm sure my mom does. They probably like, turn it on. Yeah, does she, does she understands that. English, right? Oh, of course. My dad doesn't. My mom doesn't. Is she disappointed in you? 
<laughs> I'm kidding. Bro, the day I left Bleen, like I didn't tell my parents anything. You heard this, though. Yeah, I heard about it, yeah. I didn't tell my parents anything. Like my parents had no idea. So I think only like my brother knew. Huh? Did you tell this to Anna last time? No, I didn't. Okay. Did I? I did not know. Anyways, um, so my parents are going to church. This is Sunday morning. Oh man. No, no, no. This is su- no. We went to church in the morning. Sunday evening, my parents like sit out to church or whatever, and everybody gets in the car and I'm like not dressed or whatever. And mom's like, "Oh, that's like a video." I'm like, "No." And then um, <clears throat> she walks up, or she's like leaving out the door, and I was like, "Mom, come here." She's like, "Still," and I'm like, "I was like, can I give you a hug?" And she's like, "But you move, you know, whatever." And I'm oh, like, man. "Just the one, just give you a hug." So I give her a hug, and then she's like leaves, you know. <clears throat> and then like twenty minutes later, my mom calls me. She's just like silent. I'm like, "Oh crap!" And I know they're like driving. She found the out. I think my sister or somebody told her. Oh, you know. Man. How did you, she just like cry? How do you have she, the guts for that, bro? Listen, because I because I was always like, I never wanted anybody to know, like especially my mom. Like I knew she was gonna worry and everything, and she was gonna try to talk me out of it. And I'm like, I knew how to keep my mouth shut and not tell anybody, you know. And I held it like, bro, I I swore in six months before that. And oh, this dang. whole time I was getting ready, I was doing dumb PT tests for the military and everything. And, and nobody, they didn't know nobody, anything. Nobody had any idea. Oh dang! Except. Except team guy told my brother Tim like a while back, because I was I had to I had to he was quizzing me on at the alphabet or whatever, <laughs> bro. So he was getting you ready for the military. Bro, <laughs> I could I could say the alphabet faster in like Alpha Bravo Charlie Echo, than or Delta Echo than regular. Like I was just like and we timed it, lean like I you know like I had to learn all the letters and you know whatever, like all that llama had to happen before I went. So anyways, and then I leave and then like. I go to this hotel. I have to stay the night there. And in the morning, the flight leaves. And Blin, I'm like, the guy, you know, drops me off. The recruiter drops me off, leaves. And, like, I go into this elevator. I straight up remember exactly how the elevator looked. Like, the smell. Like, everything. I was just staying there. And I press this stupid. He's like, go to floor two. And they'll talk to you. You know, whatever. I pl- press floor two. And I'm it, the thing's just like, you know. And like it hit me, I'm like bleed, like I'm going, like I'm gone, so you know, it was so oh, crazy, man. so and then and then I didn't hear a word from my family except for letters for three, four months, you know, five months, whatever the length was, mm-hmm. you know, crazy, because you know how you they you bring you come there, you drop the phone in the flamio, you feel nothing. So zero communication. Zero communication. Like oh, now, man. now, and like all these guys that went after me, like Pavlienka and all these guys, like bro, they're like on Facebook all day posting <laughs> pictures. Instagram. You gotta be kidding. Yeah, Dan Pavlienka. Well, oh, he's right? out right for right now. Yeah, I'm sure he's out. I don't know what happened, but anyways. Yeah, bro, he went. I'm telling you. But he, he told his parents ahead of time. Bro, he yeah, because I was in the military and they called me and they're like, "Pošti pa hovorit, šupon je šol," and I'm like. Bro, and then there was like some other people in church that were asking me. I'm like, dude, I'm the last guy to ask. <laughs> like, I went, vo- I volunteered to go. You can't, I can't just tell your kid not to go. Like, bro, when I went in, nobody was stopping me from going in. Nobody, you know what I mean? Like, I wanted to go for sure. Like, and if you call, like, Pavlenka, mom and dad would call me. I'm like, Bleh. Like, cool. like if anything, dude, you. it was good for Yeah. And they were like, but what is, whatever his name is, Dan, though. Dan, yeah. Yeah, Dan, Dan, whatever. And I was like, dude, I was like, I told, he, I actually called him, and I'm pretty sure I remember, like, saying, like, look, if you want to go to school, <laughs> it's so bad. <laughs> Ima- imagine what your mom went through, though. Bro, this is even crazier. So, supposedly, after I came back, like, they're telling me this alum, you know? But, like, dude, I, I, was, I was really not close with my family, like, with my parents. I mean, I was, like, close, but, like, I was, like, a rebellious kid or whatever. And, like, when I came back, bro, my relationship was a lot closer. 100%. You know what I mean? Like, I definitely changed as a person after I came back. So, like, if anything, it was good. But anyways, supposedly they said my mom cried for, like, two weeks. Oh, and my man. dad didn't talk to anybody for, like, three months or some of them. Oh, <laughs> like, pretty keen. It's so bad. Dude, but no, all jokes aside, that's not funny. I know, like, but what was I supposed to do? How was I supposed to know? Like, I didn't, I didn't have a good, you know, like, it was. it's not like I was running from something. I just, you know, like, and, and what's even crazier to me is like, and I always bring this up, 
all these people go to like they're preaching, you know, like mm-hmm. in the like, я там, блин, под Москвою, you know, мы в Сибири, yeah, мы в Сибири там, whatever, you know what I mean? It's just yeah. like they're going up there talking about какие-то, блин, какие-то служебные or whatever, and then like you go to the military and now they're freaking out. It's like why are you guys acting like your служба was good? Even though your служба was not even a служба. Here's They're the like thing. It's, it's, you it, know what I mean? Like, <laughs> it's one thing when you go voluntarily and another thing when you're forced to. Like, back then, like, they had I know, to go. I know, but they don't have to act like it was something cool that they did. They're like, you got a служба, у нас там отряд дубанутый. Or like, they had to, like, cheesy картошку for, like, the That's whole night. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> Bro, no, obviously, it's like, their military service and my military service was not even close. You know what I mean? Like, in Korea, I shot guns, like, all the time, you know what I mean? Like 50 cals, like I was a 50 cal gunner on okay. the top of a truck, blin, you know? Like, obviously it's a different, you know? Like they had like Strybat or whatever the, you know? Like them, Stroyli or like but, like my father-in-law, but, sorry. But, 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 he was like, <laughs> I can't believe I'm saying this. He was like, <laughs> straight up the whole time. <laughs> <laughs> so this guy was like, <laughs> protecting the sauna <laughs> oh my goodness. wait that's what i'm saying like imagine i had some plum like that bro unless i'm like man i had stupid like 24 hour dump like i was talking to peter he did, pulls like 12 hour shifts i'm like bro i had stupid one time at a week of straight 24 hour shifts like oh, be, like you know like 24 hours then you're off you go to sleep for 10 hours 24 hours you know like it just vilish mm-hmm. dude like you it doesn't matter like there's snow like you have to like we had stupid stuff like you had to guard you know like some dumb ammunition locker that was already locked it's like what <laughs> from your own people you know what i mean like it's on base sitting in a container and you're guarding it it's like uh, and you have to sit there on radio you know like just waiting anyways there's i don't know obviously the služba is different but dude pavlenka went to another military like his khlam was Did not you go the to same. army yeah, but it was not the same as mine. I guarantee you that. Trust me, from from everything like how everything was changing from the t- when he when I got he, out, he, he got. I in. think he went for like a mechanic or something like an aviation mechanic. I thought you he, know like he, Ma- Mike Shokur Toja. No, Mike. See, Mike Shokur was badass, bro. That dude was like little on the plane mm-hmm. shooting. Yeah, club. he flies all the time. Right bro, now, I know, all but he the flew time. like in a. Put the number up there, sorry. Dude, you need to get him on this podcast. Bro, I need to. I was gonna. I was like, actually telling. He'll Peter. just fly over. You like record him <laughs> flying over, and then like. Bro, have I, was him in the telling, podcast. I was telling Peter like we were. Does dude, he watch your podcast? I'm sure. I only have one. <laughs> <laughs> so this guy's a podcaster. He posts dude, a, a podcast every like. What is it? Eight four months. months. Eight months. Oh shit. No, bro. It's probably even longer. <laughs> dude, last it was probably last winter when I did the other podcast. Blin. Yo, it's not. It's the time. Anyways, this dude. Shokur, like, was legit, you know? Mm-hmm. I mean, like, you can call it a chair force all you want, but that dude, like, you know, he obviously was in the Air Force, but, like, he flew some hlam and, like, you know, deployed a bunch of times, and you're like, this guy's legit. Mm-hmm. Like, the reason I got out was because the Army changed so much. It went from, you know, like, hardcore, like, you know, like, they would, like, you know, to, like, if if I scream if I'm like your drill sergeant and I scream at you, you can give me a stupid kartichka that's like red green or red or you know or red green yellow like a, or like blue, a referee. huh? Like a referee. No, I can I can give you a card and you can't yell at me for thirty minutes. What like the heck? stupid stuff. That's like school rules. That's what I'm. saying. It's <laughs> like even worse. It was like high school. Rules. Everybody had playstations in their dorms. Like oh, we dang. slept fifty dudes to one stupid room. There now it's like three dudes. Big screen TVs, Call that, of Duty every night. With like, like a hot tub. <laughs> dude, I'm telling you, that's what it changed. And I was like, I don't even want to be a part of this one. Because like, I was listening to all this chlamyolas happening. And then all that stupid, you know, homo chlam started happening. Like, like, you know, like it was bad. Like you couldn't, you couldn't even, like, you had buddies, right? Mm-hmm. You couldn't even pat your friend on the back. It was sexual harassment. Like really? it was so bad. Bro, I'm telling you, it was oh, so dude. bad. Like you couldn't like. You know, like, like some dude does a score, like, yeah, let's go. Like, you couldn't do that. Oh, so dude. you're, like, touching him wrong. Even though it's, like, your closest friend, 
you know, not has not you know, doesn't like you like he's a straight dude, you know. But like they would catch that lump. The way it was looking, like the military was just going to crap. Like it was so like all these stupid rules, like halamsiaki. Like it was just so ridiculous. It wasn't hard. Like I loved it. If I stayed in Korea, I would have never got out ever. Like I would have been twenty years, one hundred percent, you know, and oh, just really? retired. Yeah, I would have retired at 38, 39 years old, you know, and like got money for the rest of my life. But because I came to, you know, stateside to Washington, Blin, you know, the Vesklam Pashola, I just couldn't. It was just so like, it just like drains you, Blin. Mm-hmm. Like it's just, you're like a part of this Hlam Yo that's like not even, you know. And the reason I got in is like, you know, I craved like discipline and like, you know, like that Hlam that it was just gone. Troublemaker, like, basically. A bunch of Jurni. Stupid profile idiots, you know. Blin, when I when I had my toe that time my toe smashed, mm-hmm. I, I had to be on profile for three months. They made me, bro. I would go to Zaryatka. I couldn't do Zaryatka because I had a boot. Right after that, they would send me home. I would take out my boot and go to the gym and go run on a treadmill. <laughs> no joke, because I just couldn't. I could not do it. I was like, no, Blin. But like you can go sit with your dumb profile by yourself, and people would just get fat. And then fat, and the doctor would write him another note. They just keep getting fatter, you know. Like we had people being like journey, like can't even run a block. I guarantee. You. How easy is it to get dishonorably discharged? Mm. Bro, I don't know. <laughs> I have a cousin that's dishonorably discharged. I'm looking at you. <laughs> oh shoot! Actually, I don't know if he's my cousin, but I don't even know who he is. To me. I guess he is my cousin. So, anyway. are you honorably discharged? I was honorably discharged. Obviously, I did my time. I got out. Anyways, um, bro. There's like, you there, there's different ways. Like you got like for instance, like weed is legal, right? Mm-hmm. Like in the military, it's not legal. You get caught with pop. Bling, you know when we we're in Korea, if you got caught with what is that hlam? There was like this ecstasy or whatever yeah, back yeah. in the day. If you got caught with ecstasy in Korea, ten years, A straight prison. up ten years in Korean prison. Prison. Oh dang, bro, and, and it's like, is- yeah, just South Korea. Yeah, South Korea. Bro, it was so it's so <laughs> it's so strict. It's so strict. It's like, you know, all the rules are like on another level. But like to get dishonorably discharged, you got to be a doob. Like it's so easy not to mess up, you know? But like if you get like I personally never ever got written up once for anything my whole military career. Not one time did I got written up for anything. You know what I mean? Cuz it's That's like pretty good. it's too easy not to. You know what I mean? Like yeah. and I'm talking about like you got dirty boots. I'm going to write whatever the hlum that stupid slip was, you know? Like, let's just say a dumb pink slip like we had in school. Like, I never got written up because, like, if your hat is good and you're on time and you wake up on time and you're never late and blah, blah, blah. And, like, all those things, if you screw up, that's called misconduct. Mm-hmm. So, if you get a pattern of them, then they'll kick you out. Or, like, you, you miss two PT tests. On the third one, if you miss again, they'll kick you. Like, no joke. Like, when I was in Korea, Blin, like, they told me I had to gain weight or I'm going to get kicked out. Like, I was underweight, bro. I really? was, like, so underweight. Yeah. You're, like, my my minimum was, like, 155 or something, Hlam. Oh, and I was, like, 148. And they were, like, you get better gain some weight because, like, tip on my neck was too small or whatever. You have to have a bigger neck if you're, you know, like, it was so crazy. <laughs> so Dude, no what, joke. What, I lost so eat? much weight because I was running, like, crazy. And then, like, once a week, I'd run with a ruck. And then the rest, I just ran, dude, it was like hardcore. But there's there's reason. They'll kick you out for slum. But if you got kicked out, you got you legit dude. You shouldn't have been in in the first place. Like, you're just, you can't just waste screw of, up. Waste of time. You can't just screw up on accident and they kick you out. Like, you got to be a tormas. Like, you got to do stupid stuff and not mm. care, you know? But, um, <clears throat> yeah. Dude, it's too easy. It's too easy to do a, you know, just go through good and... But to everybody's different. Like, military... You kind of, it's almost like just normal life. Like, whatever you make it out, that's what your military career is going to be. Like, I had a blast. Like, I loved it. You know, like the whole, like, just my memories are all good, other than the hlam that was started happening and then I got out. I thought, like, dude, it was just like, I miss it like crazy. Like, dude, when I was, uh, when I was right before I turned, I think it was like 27 or some plum. Like I still, I was 29. Mm-hmm. I had like, they kept like, my contract was almost up and they kept like calling me or emailing me like, oh, good, good, good. like re-enlist now or you have to redo the whole plum all over again. Go to basic, then blah, blah. Bro, I was like seriously considering 
<laughs> considering and like going kids, back. Right? Yeah, but I was just like, I was even telling Vita, I'm like, man, come on, like, like I want to go back, <laughs> like, dude, because like I missed it. Like it's 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 like it's obviously you you build like you know like friendships and like you know over here on the state on the state side, it's kind of a little bit, it's way different. In Korea, man, it was like. Obviously, you don't have your family, so you're, like, just around people, you know? And you're, like, kind of your own, like, dude, I cooked for myself. You do your own laundry, you know? Like, you're literally living by yourself. Mm -hmm. You know, like, you... I was gone from my family. I was gone... Yeah, I was gone for three years. That's why it was easy for me to get married and get out. And I lived in, you know, Seattle for Mm -hmm. however long. And for the wife, it was obviously a little bit harder because it's, like, you know, around your family and you get taken away and it's like, oh, I miss them, you know? But for me, I was like, dude... I was already gone for three years. This is easy. CD. Or how? <laughs> <clears throat> Anyways. So would you say? What? Military was worth it? Dude, 100%. If I could go back, I would never do it any different. 100% I would go. Interesting. Even though, like, if you look at, like, you know, the Christian side of it, it's kind of, you know, like, whatever. It kind of sucks. But uh, if I could redo it, I would do it. It was... It was so like It was a part of my life That I had to do Like dude Even since I was a little kid I'd listen to all these people, You know like It was like hey, it's it's I'm like So that's it I'm going You know But then, And then you're gonna be Preaching at church So <laughs> And that's <Lugil>, Like <laughs> yeah. That's so what I'm saying I was shooting a 50 sh- cow All day long I should I should actually Get up there one day And be like Guys listen You listen. need to start preaching was actually, was actually, but like, No joke was- <laughs> I'm going to tell my dad to put you on the, <laughs> on the sermon list. Dude, I'm going to say Bliner Hlam for sure. <laughs> on accident. Like who? Oh, he was saying a speak like a poem, right? <laughs> who is this? Or Diklamatsen. Bro, is this not open? No. Why are you drinking it? Because I'm trying to finish this one first. Bro, I'm about to drink this. We'll share. <laughs> Yo, who scary. is this? Yeah, I like how I like how what? we're naming names, <laughs> and like then these people are gonna be listening. Well, he care, bro, just bleep them or something. Who cares? <laughs> or just like there's this one guy at church. Bro, just bleep the clump. Keep going. Whatever. Anyway, That's like anyway. preaching, and he forgot. No, he's, he's saying a poem. <laughs> <laughs> he's saying a poem, and he's like, we bleep <laughs> into the microphone. And then there's what? Bro, there was this no. one guy <laughs> praying like a teen. It's like we bring somebody like no he's praying. Way. Who's praying? This one guy. Just say the name. No names. <laughs> it's probably him. <laughs> okay. No. I was actually I was actually a really innocent kid. I've seen double post oh. No, like in church I was literally like afraid to like do something bad. What? Is it that no, it's just I was kind of like that. Like, that like I have workers right now that are telling me like their life story like when they're like in middle school, like, dude, he's like, I took like a pellet gun and like shot windows, like school windows, like, bro, I sh- <laughs> like, dude, <laughs> that's pretty bad, bro. I threw a snowball. like stealing fire extinguishers. I literally never did. <laughs> oh like, yeah, any of no, that. That's stupid. No, I never did like any of that, bro. There's like, like I was, I was literally like an Hanabin. innocent child at school, like, like uh, I stole like marbles from my teacher, bro. <laughs> bro, I started, I started, and sold them, and like my my parents told me like to ask for forgiveness. And I was like crying. I was like, I'm sorry. Bro, I got a good story. Her name was Miss Schulte. Yo, she was actually okay. a really sweet Who is teacher. This? is this in public school? Yeah, in public school. Bro, I got the best story for public school. Straight How up. many years did you go to public school? Well, I was five when I came here. So probably like up to fourth But you grade. went to the church school, right? Fourth grade. And then after, yeah. Dude, I was sitting in at the some kid in public school. This is my, mm-hmm. this is like maybe one of two memories <laughs> one memory is, is when i ran into a stupid pole during tag <laughs> and the other this is the other memory oh, man. bro uh, this kid lets me use his scissors right and i'm sitting there and i'm like leaning and i'm like trying to call him but i couldn't talk because i was like trying not to be loud or whatever so i'm like my <laughs> he's like not turning around bro i'm sitting there like doubling i'm just laying on my de- on the desk and i'm just doing this like with the scissors you know just like <laughs> This butteron turns like this, should have cut his ear right in half, bro. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> yeah. Oh, right down the man. middle, like, bro, it's like blood starts, like, you know, like leaking or whatever. So he basically just, like, <laughs> put bro, his own ear into those scissors. Yo, the teacher grabbed the kid. He was, like, tiny, right? Because we were, like, small. It was, like, third or fourth grade, you know, like, money. Mm-hmm. Had actual scissors? Bro, actual scissors. Oh. 
Bro, I cut his ear right in half like this. <laughs> Dude. Capiets. Anyways, this teacher grabs the kid like like a baby, runs him down to the principal's office. They like called 911 or some plum. Dude, the dude's like bleeding. They got, Did like, the called... earpiece fall off? Quit earpiece. Like the piece of the ear. No, I cut it in half. Yeah. Like nothing fell off. Like this. Just Ah, okay. Yeah, so like you just sliced it. it. Oh, nice. Yeah, sliced it in half. Nice. Any, anyways, dude, dude. And so uh, the principal was like pissed and then we have to go, whatever. Bro, he like tells me to, he's like, I'm going to call your parents. He, I give him some dumb number, like, flop, <laughs> like not even my parents' number. Oh, and then he calls, he's like, you know, like, this calls, whatever. <laughs> dude, oh, we shut down, it was so bad. So we like, I'm like, oh, I probably got this number wrong. I kept like changing numbers or whatever. Dude, never got a hold of my parents. <laughs> <laughs> Crap's probably like listening to this clump. Dude, anyways, so the next day the kid comes back with like stitches. They like stitch his ear oh, up nice. and like he was fine. I actually had to write a letter. I had to write a letter to his parents. And I was like, oh, I'm sorry, cut your kid's ear in half like it was an accident or whatever. Dude, one time. It was so bad. Imagine. Like, <laughs> <laughs> Bro, does it hurt to like, you know, like imagine getting a paper cut in your ear. Yeah. Like that would hurt. Try it right now. <laughs> No, his book. one time I had a similar story where like, so basically like the kid cut himself pretty much. Like if you think about uh-huh. it, I was hammering down like a bolt. I was hammering like really hard, you know, like bam, bam, <laughs> bam, bam, bam. And my boss, right when I'm banging, puts his hand there <laughs> and I bang his <laughs> hand banging? on the bolt. Like it was, it was like pretty bad, you know? Wait, what is this? At work. I know. For what? What are you... We were putting like a post in for like a Oh, it was like an anchor bolt. Yeah, like an anchor bolt. And I'm banging it in. Like like whacking it really good with a hammer. And he puts his hand right there. And I'm just like right on his hand. He got pissed at me that I hit him with the hammer. I'm like, you saw that I was constant. It's like a... It's like a temple. Like... Or metronome. It's like bam, bam, bam. But like with the hammer. And he's like, why'd you hit me? I'm like... Bro, like, you literally put your own hand there. Like, that's not my problem. Yeah. So, Dude, <laughs> and he great. was pretty pissed at me. <laughs> Dude, I got a lot of funny stories from work. One time, <laughs> there's this one guy, Timur, actually. <laughs> <laughs> they talk about, he's like, what Bro, are you saying now? I'm standing, we're, <laughs> we're building that. a house, and he's, like, routering out, like, a gable. Like, the, we sheeted a gable, and he's standing <laughs> on a wall, reaching on top, and, like, trying to router out the plywood on the gable. And there's two walls, and there's like a two by six on it. And it's hanging off from one side, and it's hanging off from the other side, and like in the middle. So we're, the only place you can stand is between the two walls. Mm-hmm. If you stand here, it's going to like like that. He's routering <laughs> the gable, stands on this piece, falls <laughs> over just flat on his back. just like, oh, And I it's like a 12-foot drop because there was no I concrete. It was just like gravel and like... It Wait, was high. When, when did he fall in concrete? Somebody said, speak on the concrete who fall. <laughs> like, no. concrete truck. <laughs> they said. <laughs> Wait, I didn't finish my story. Wait, remember, it might be the same story. He said, concrete zelivari. And then the, the truck dumped his concrete into, like, a pile. <laughs> this dude fell on it with his back. Ah, uh, no, I But I didn't that. imagine that. But, yo, oh. listen to this. He falls on his back. And I'm standing, like, 20 feet away. And I'm just looking at him. And I see him just like, Ugh, tsh, he's like, Ugh, you know, like, <laughs> like he get, like he lost his breath. And he's like, Ugh, uh, you know, I'm like, oh shoot, I'm like, right, calling him a Great. boss. I'm like, David, David, you know, like this guy fell. And he's like, Ugh, you know, like I was like, oh shoot, he probably broke something. This guy, <laughs> bro, this, no, this guy rolls over. <laughs> he's like, Ugh, is the router good? <laughs> I'm like, dude, out of all the things in the world, like, you care about the router right now. Like, like this guy's, like, hurt, you know? Bro, he got up like nothing happened. Was working the whole day. Like, no joke. <laughs> like, this guy is, like, crazy. He's a robot. Him, he fell. He's hurt. Bro, and he's asking if the router's get, fine. I'm telling you, like, this guy's, like, like, like a tank. <laughs> dude, that's crazy. Dude, and he was telling me a story. He's, like... Um, so <laughs> credits to Timmer. <laughs> He's like hitting a board with a hammer. And it's like uh tails, like roof tails. Mm-hmm. And he's holding the board <laughs> and he's trying to hammer it. And he's like from the back. He's like, bam, right on his hand. <laughs> <laughs> like, 
<laughs> it's his hand. Bro, you, uh, every time they show up like to church, it's like, do, do the zamota, the pain, this finger is broken. It's like, what is wrong? His hands are always like, don't shake my hand. <laughs> it's like thick ass fingers, you know? It's like, oh, shut dude, you I remember that being? time. No, he like, he, he like jumped off a wall and tripped on like a brace and fell backwards and broke his like finger. Oh, he on his toe? finger and broke it. No, oh, on his, his hand? Yeah. Uh. Did you hear how he rolled over? The guys? Oh, on the truck, Ruben's truck. Yeah. Oh, he thought he broke his finger, that or something. Bro, wait, Bro they're, they're Speak bowling. into the mic. Bro, Victor, Artur, you, have, Victor, yo. you have to tell this story. Yeah, so, uh, here, tell this story, honestly. You actually want me to? Yeah, of how let's you guys go. flipped over. Hey, like, hey, right here, right here. We got the fam- camera on you. What's happening? Okay. Wait, 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 wait. Let's put the microphone, yo. Okay, the mic. Get the microphone. Uh... <laughs> Dude, I need to get another one of these. Hey, man, you're messing with my camera. <laughs> Yo, what's <laughs> happening? Dude, I, I should just like roast you and just do half your face. <laughs> <laughs> okay, yeah, so it's crazy. It's a crazy story. Um, Karochi, we went to... Wait, you were there? I was on the truck, yeah. No way. Ooh, Are I you didn't kidding hear this. me? I didn't hear the first hand. Karochi, yeah, yeah so um, we went to Elsie Lake with youth. Can you hear me? What's yes, happening? got it. <laughs> So, yeah, we went to Elsie Lake with youth, and Karoche, the girls, we decided to give the girls some, like, space, whatever, to swim in the lake, whatever. We were going to go to, like, a coffee shop or something in town. Karoche, we pile into Ruben's truck, and there's, like, I think there was, like, 12 guys in the bed. 12 guys in the bed, and then two inside, so 14 guys, I believe. And so... um, Karoche, we're driving, we're driving, everything's fine. Like, we we don't expect anything bad to happen. Like, he's just going at a normal pace, whatever. At a certain point in the road, it's like, um, at a certain point in the road, I just see, like, I look over the edge, and I just see that he's going on the, that he went on the, like, really, abortion, really yeah. abortionate. And I just see the truck starts going, starts going. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know? And then, dude, after that, it's just... Wait, you were sitting on the on the edge? Yeah, I was sitting <clears> on <throat> that edge. Oh, dang. Dude, it was crazy. It's like... It's like, I, I fell out, I think, and then the truck just, like, went over me. Like, the truck bed. The truck bed went over me, so I have room up top. I have room on top of me. Wait, how about everybody else? Everybody else thought... Eric was actually somewhere... I think he said like 50 feet um to daf to store them. Like somehow he ended up there. Um did you hear what happened to Phil? Yeah, he got pinched or something. Well, he the truck landed on top of him. But Damn. there was a tree stump that stopped or a tree stump or a rock that stopped the truck and so well, it gave him room to like be there. So it it maybe like touched him or like maybe hit him a little bit, but it wasn't that much. And, dude, it was it was crazy. It, it happened was, really fast. It's like... Was everybody, like, freaking out or just, like... What? Uh, yeah, just during or was after? Normal, you know? Like, nothing happened. <laughs> no, I'm saying, like, rjali or just, like, screaming? Nothing? Just, like... <laughs> we almost died. That's what I'm saying. Like, no, what was we, the well, some reaction people, of people? Dude, I don't even remember. I don't remember. But I remember that somebody said like, oh, there's a person there or something along those lines because Philip was under the under Dang. the thing. And, um, could, well, he got out. but Bro, he said he was stuck. He said his foot got jammed. And like he like voodoo his leg from underneath the... Yeah. That's so crazy. But Imagine yeah. like... It's not Dude, even but, funny. but walking, like, walking out of that situation was, was a miracle of Apshia. It, it was just crazy. Like I was walking, Moshe, like Sia, we're we're like still kind of recovering. Everybody's like, like "Wait, the truck insane. is just trashed. Can't take it out." Did you see any pictures of it? I did not. Did you see? Yeah. I didn't see any. Vasily Kozhakarov is calling me. <laughs> Straight up, Vasily. Why? Is that Emily? <laughs> Probably is Emily. Hello and welcome to the Measure of Life podcast. You're on the air. 
Да ладно. No, not bad. You actually are. Hello. What's happening? Your host, D's. <laughs> what up? Uh huh. Yeah. Go ahead. Okay. Um. So you know the girls that are staying at your house? Yes. <laughs> So there's a whole bunch of people. Well, there's not that much people, but there's a whole bunch of girls at our house right now, <laughs> and they they were um they want to come over, but they want if you can leave the door open for them when they come back. You're the front door. <laughs> uh, okay, why aren't they telling us that? Because they don't know how to get to you. Oh, okay. Um, yeah, well, they sure. Just, they just um. Uh, I'm with her sister right now. And her sister was like, can you just okay. ask between us? Yeah. yeah. Either the front or the back door will be open. Right. Or both. Well, I'll I'll that. That. Yeah, they want to call the scene at night if it's too, if they stay late. Okay. okay. <laughs> We're recording a podcast. <laughs> what did she say? <laughs> <laughs> okay, the sounds good. What kind of church do we have? Uh, what is going on here? Ben. Ben? Ben, no way. Uh, okay. Good <laughs> Thank you. Bye. <clears throat> yes, anyway. Why um, is the police Vasily That's, yeah, that's the so whatever. <clears throat> yeah. Can or I don't care. Короче, I need to finish that story. Go ahead. We we were walking out of it. Reuven was вообще in shock. Like, he's just, he's just like silent. It, it was bad. And then, like, Vit gathered us. Um, Quick, Vit. Uh, uh, Did he was there? Yeah. He, well, he was in the bed. He was uh. in the car behind us. But he, like, gathered us around and we, like, prayed. And I was thinking about it, like, that's crazy. Like, we all could have died. <laughs> oh, 100%, you know? dude. Sure. But you didn't see any pictures and videos of it? Dude, I didn't see anything. I got to show you, dude. It's crazy. They got the truck out. Like, it actually ran. It turned on, Zavilize, and they, they got it onto the main road. Sweet. So, yeah. That's yeah, crazy. That's my story. This is my story. Praise Jesus. <laughs> preach it, brother. Pre- Why don't you preach? Wait, do you preach? Have you even preached ever? Yes. Hey, man. Relax. Bro, when I moved to Vancouver, you're I not, preached you're probably like pastor like, over there? I preached probably like twice a month. Whoa. Yeah, right. Like, I preach one time in church and then like in church service. Are you kidding me? And then like on like a teens event or like. Braske Dude, event. you guys are another level, yeah. bro. I'm telling you, I wouldn't be able to preach. First, this of all. month in November, <coughs> it's what? What's the date today? Uh, 12. The twelfth. I already did two sermons, and I have another one. Dude, you trying to like get up there? No, it's just <laughs> bro. It, bro. This guy called me today in the morning to preach tomorrow at Spokane Church. Are you gonna preach? I'm like, I don't have my conspect, and he's like, well, just get ready today. I'm like. I came with ghosty. <laughs> like, it doesn't and make I have a sense. podcast. I'm, no, I'm like, I came with ghosty, you know, like, I'm going to like, probably have to be like, when I'm going like, we all talk to you, you know? So I said no. Dude, I'm telling you, you do it in Russian? Yeah, of course. See, like, bro, my Russian is so bad. I promise you, if you talk to me right now for two minutes, I wouldn't be able to. Do you not understand? No, I understand everything, but I cannot speak uh, everything. Like, you know on what the happened? Fly. You know what happened on my crew? I got a guy from Russia. He's working for a gratuity, by the way, so he's not actually getting paid. <laughs> he's helping out. <laughs> Dude, this guy. Not sure he says that's for legal terms. The new mix. Legal <laughs> purposes. And we switched to fully Russian. Mm-hmm. I, I'm thinking Russian. I'm speaking Russian. Everything is Russian. Like, I learned so many Russian words now. Wait, to, because of him? Like we, yeah, because of him. Even though he understands English, we're all in Russian. Dang. Like, Bro, we learned, like, now it's like new words. Like, everything is like, Zhoska, you know, like. Bro, wow, after. Zhoska, like, Maladies, там. Yo, I used to. Everything is just Russian. I used now. to be able to talk good. And then after three years of not talking Russian from the military, I can't, like, at all. I mean, I can speak like every other word, mm-hmm. but I can't fluently talk to you. 
Like I, you, but you understand. Even if I talk to like a grandma or somebody that doesn't understand English, like I can't keep a straight, you know, one sentence without saying something English. So I just can't. Like in half the stuff, it was just a bull. Like I would just be sitting like, that, you know. <laughs> even though I, like I understand everything, you know, perfectly, but mm-hmm. I just don't have the. You know, like it's not. I mean, if you mind. don't use it, then I kinda... think in English. So it's like, how am I supposed to think in Russian? And here's the thing: I used to think in English up until like two months ago. Now you think in Russian? Well, at least at work, yeah. You gotta be kidding! Like all my so sizes hard. are in Russian now. Wait, how about you? English. You think in English? Yeah, for the most part. So you preach? Have you preached? Bro, I don't this, even know. This bro. guy is like a champ at preaching. He's a uh, come on. He's like, let's go, champ. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Yo, he, wait. Which is good. Do you preach really actually? Yeah. Well, uh, the last time I preached was a long time ago. <laughs> See, so you preach in Russian? Yeah. Bro, I would never be able to. Everybody's always like, don't you know the proper preach like, in no English? Way. You can preach yeah, in English. I can preach in English, but not in church. Why not? Why? I, I, would, I would like do it to like Moldershka uh, or something. Okay. Then Yo, tell Vit. <laughs> no, bro, bro. <laughs> this I'm guy not, in bro, I'm not. Go look, I'm, I'm like. I'll be your I feel like if you're up there preaching, you better live that home. Like 100%. Yeah. Well, and if that's you're not living it, don't go up there and preach. Preach about something you're living. <laughs> I mean, think about it. If you're like preaching about like, I don't know, like you're preaching about. No, there's certain topics that I really like and I yeah. would love to preach about. Them, like your life topics, like topics that are like you're living you. that yeah. affect you right now. Obviously, it can be tough. It's like you're you're like not a really scrumly guy, and you're like, but just just to будем говорить о скромности, and like you, that's what I'm then, saying. Yeah, don't say about that because well, like, what are you gonna preach about? Unless what? Unless you. <laughs> <laughs> this better not be the behind the scenes <laughs> or like <laughs> wait, bonus is clips. it be behind the scenes? I don't think so. No, you touch it behind like <laughs> bloopers, <laughs> but not. Bro, just let this guy figure it out. He knows what to put. <laughs> okay. Sure, you're out. I think it's time to wrap it up. <sighs> Go like and subscribe. <laughs> I'm kidding. <laughs> oh, wait, 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 Go wait. Go join wait. the Measure of Life Time podcast. Time out. Time out. Let's talk about this guy. Talk. To, is this camera on him? Talk about your club. <laughs> <laughs> about my channel? Yeah. So I recently started a YouTube channel. We had a bet with this one guy that up until New Year's, who gets the most views? Like starting from scratch, like you Wait, think he of, did it too. He did it too. He's doing it, and I'm doing it. So we created. A, oh, this New Year's. Yes. Okay. Up, so that's that's a little less than two months mm-hmm. left. It's like a month and a half. And whoever gets the most views on like a zero zero YouTube channel, uh, I think we take like the loser takes the winner to like a restaurant or something yeah. oh, nice. for dinner. And I have four videos, and I'm up at like. 11,000 views almost. Nice. Already. From four. Well, uh, bring some of your chlam over. To- <laughs> so, yeah, just <laughs> unbox a box. <laughs> Wait, can I buy some of your Actually, s- <laughs> one thing about YouTube. All my life, I wanted to do YouTube. Like, bro, th- from listen. Yes, uh, bro, this like, was one. Hold on, this, hold on. Wait, 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 wait. When we this started week, this podcast. Shut up. <laughs> I'm, the host, <laughs> I'm the host of this place. <laughs> shut up, guys. Yo. Dude, you better not include this. Like, <laughs> Yo, listen. Yo, listen. <laughs> when I was trying to get you on here, I was trying to talk to you, have you talk about why you were not doing it or like what was your, you know. Bro, here's the thing. Like when I was like And I heard 14, this because Brad told you not bro, to. When I was like 14 or 15, I didn't care about Jack. Like. I didn't care what people thought about me. Like, I didn't care about and now anything. And you do? And, like, I started, like, doing these, like, all, <laughs> like, uh, cringe vlogs and everything. Oh, I was, like, so cool. Like, thought, thought I was, like, dude, I was watching, ben like, vlog. vlogs. Shut up. I was <laughs> watching, like, bro. Bam! Got him. <laughs> no joke is kind of embarrassing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Dude, I thought I was, like, this cool I forgot, kid. I forgot. I, was, I, was I made people think, like, oh, dude, I'm, like, a vlogger or something. <laughs> and I was, bro, I made merch. You had like, merch. That's how. That's how. That's Wait, how do you still have it? I was. Do you still have it? <laughs> I think my brother Philip has it. <laughs> <laughs> Here's the thing. And then, like, every time I came to church, it's like people are like, oh, laughing at me. Oh, I watched your video. <laughs> it's like Dude, so funny. It doesn't matter, bro. Here's the thing. When you're like a teen and still forming, like, I, at first I didn't care. Then I'm like, man, this is actually kind of like weird. And then like, I became normal. Like, I closed it. Like, and Why? Then I, and then I started making 
No, before that, I, I made like Lego videos. Oh, bro, I made wild. Lego videos and I actually had like 86,000 views. Like, I, I started getting those views and I'm like, bro, I'm like 15 or 16 and making Lego videos. Like, <laughs> like what are my friends gonna think? Like, that's not something I would just share back then, you know? And then I stopped. And actually, like this week, I went on my uh, like private videos on YouTube mm-hmm. and I was looking through my Lego videos and I was like, dang. Actually, kind of cool. Like, no joke. That's what I'm saying. I don't know. And then, like, you... I showed my worker. He's like, dude, that's actually cool. But I'm like, dude, that's so cringe. Come on. And then right now, this this bet, I'm like, if it goes, hopefully it goes, like, pretty good. Like, I actually am considering doing YouTube. Bro. You, like you. Yo, you got to do it. Like, it's, it's not even. It's, it's a lot Bro, of dedication. This... Because if you're doing it just like. I know. You most can't. people do it because they want to make money, you know. And that's that's kind of like a gift, like a present of what you're doing. But it gotta, literally takes dedication. Like, oh, one month you're like, dude, I'm so dedicated to this. Like, I'm going to be doing this all the time. Next month it's like, shoot, I have to like make a video. Mm-hmm. Oh, man, I have to edit it. And that's why people don't like – that's why I never actually grew. Because like dude, I'm, I'm putting, like, ah, oh, dude, screw this, you know. You were saying I'm putting all this money into this. Yo, like as I long know as you dedicate, it's costing yeah. me a bunch of money, but I don't care. Like to yeah, me, but, this I love doing. Like but for you to grow, you have to like. I know, and I have to do it all it. the time. Not like to, from I, last <laughs> winter Bob's interview <laughs> to like now. <laughs> I know, but like first of all, all the people that I have trying, I'm trying to get on podcast. They don't even live here. Like. Start but with the people. I have that like are here. seven, eight like people. <laughs> have, <laughs> yeah, actually, my brother was supposed to be here seven, too. eight people that are not in this state of Upshia, and it's like impossible to get them because when they can't, I can't. When you know, like when the, mm-hmm. everybody else can't, he can't, or some halam is just like, you know what I mean. So it's not easy. You know what I mean. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so yo. Include it. <laughs> okay, <laughs> hold on, hold on, hold on. Um, I'm trying to get Igat on here. Who? Dranya, that dude, like, Igor? He's like, ah, ah, like every every time he sees you, he just laughs. Such a dude. dude. Like I would just roast him the whole time. Yo, don't include this. Do not include this. What do you well, mean? Who cares? Part, it's, it's fine. Bro, I don't care. It's, Iga doesn't care. He said, "Dude, anyways." <laughs> Bro, did you cut your hair? <laughs> no, just no, just like as long as you get like. <laughs> Bro, as long as you get like some like. Oh, you need to get a haircut. As Yo, long as you get like some today. pudra, so there's no glare. What? <laughs> I'm kidding. Bro, yeah, make sure you sit where the light bulb's up there, not right here. So it's like. By the way, for your <laughs> next podcast, you need to get like some good lighting. Yo, the next. Where are we gonna go, bro? This is fine. No, you get like fun. Where are we gonna go? No, bro, my house is even this worse. This room with funari. Uh, because when light is no, from the top. Where are you gonna put funari, Blin? Ciudad Pastel Funari. Are you gonna, are you gonna give light. those to me? Bro, I straight up use lamps for my videos. Bueno. Jeez. <laughs> bro, I've never even bro, I don't even care. bro, here's how I do my videos. Dude, Nabato, the dark I go to, is nice. I go to Home Have Depot. Jocko videos? Bro. Bro, this is how I They're do like my videos. like in the dark, bro. Bro. This What's is how it? I do my videos. I go to Home Depot, <laughs> I buy a bunch of tools. <laughs> I come back. home and open the light them up, and the light. <laughs> make a video. <laughs> make a video. Slash it and yes do. But don't be saying that I'm you just told people to go watch your club and you're like okay. slush you. Go support. Bro, he even buys the lampachki in the t- <laughs> for his lighting. What lampachki? <laughs> for your lighting. So you buy lampachki. Review, review the lamp and then No, start. I'm saying you buy it for the lighting and then you take it back as soon as you're done. <laughs> no, <laughs> I'm not that cheap. Dude, I don't no, know. But, yeah. Yo, you know what I wanted to do? I want to do a podcast outside in the do snow. It. Straight up. Do we need power? Pa- oh, we need power though. If we have an extension cable, that's fine. Just okay, guys. I was just going to do one in the woods somewhere. It's time to wrap up this podcast. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> okay, guys. Do thank you for joining us for this podcast. This is Eugene Kavalenka, the host, the owner of this, this channel. So this is his, his show. <laughs> dude, for sure, take this long. <laughs> this guy, dude. Chana wrapping up, no? No, oh, yeah. But what is it? 11? Is that the right time? Yeah, it's, it's like an hour behind. Bro, I'm telling you, like, <laughs> the, 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 the